Hey everybody, this is Joe at Drum Man Productions. Uh, today I'm going to show you an unboxing of my new uh, Miss Geico Pro Boat uh, that I just got in the mail from Horizon Hobby. I'm going to show you what comes in the box and show you the boat itself. So everybody, take a look at this bad boy right here. Look at that sexy, sexy boat. Isn't that gorgeous? The Miss Geico 113 Pro Boat twin engine. Isn't that nice? Two twin engines. Nice stainless steel props, rudder, everything. You get the remote inside, everything. The Spectrum remote. It is looking great. Look at that bad boy. Just want to sit there and show it to you all the way around. All right. Of course, this is the box that it comes in. It's a huge, it's a huge boat. I have the Sonic Wake, okay. Uh, this one is a bit wider. It's about 13 inches wide, but it is made of a fiberglass hole. It is looking awesome. You know, I just wanna show you a little bit of the inside. And it has two ESCs. Uh, Spectrum uh, S605 servo and two brushless 19 kV motors on each side. I am going to be running it on, just to let you know, two 3S 11 volt 5000 mAh 100C batteries. I will be running it normally on and i'm sorry that i got the tape over it these are two spectrum i'll be running on two spectrum 6s 22.1 volt 100c batteries talking about the batteries guys you have to read the instructions inside the box it comes with the manual and everything it talks about everything that you need to know but this page i'm going to tell you page six Follow the instructions because on the Sonic Wake Pro Boat, they don't tell you everything that you need to do about hooking up what batteries and everything whatsoever. And if you recall on my other video, everything about my Sonic Wake Pro Boat, 36 inch, when I hooked up two of these bad boys and I didn't know to each of the connectors, it blew up in my face. It was way too much power. They don't tell you that. And I was, I, you know, I'm still new at the RC boats and everything whatsoever. So uh, I'm learning and I got some uh, great videos up and everything that I'll tell you about that. But what you need to do, if you're gonna run two of the 3S 11.4, 11.1 volt MA, uh, 5,000 mAh batteries, okay. You have them inside the ba inside the box when you open it up. Now this is very important. Stop. This series adapter is only used for batteries up to 3S, 11.1 volt. Read all safety and warning labels before installing. That is very, very important. I'm telling you right now. And that's this adapter, all right? This adapter basically comes in, in the box, but then you plug it into each connector this side this side okay and then you plug these two into the batteries and then you put them into your battery cradle and i'll talk about that in a moment when you use just two when you go over when you go over 11.1 volts on a battery such as this monster a 22.1 volt battery okay you do not use this little X cable that you see right here. Okay, you disconnect it, and then you have these two, and I, I, I got the camera and I apologize. You disconnect that, and you connect one and one, okay, onto each side. That is those batteries. Now, when you get this, you could hook up the four batteries and you have to buy a special adapter, okay? You could, uh, you have to make sure every battery is exactly the same. You cannot hook up alternate batteries, you know, 
one 5,000, one 3,000 MAH, one 2S, one 3S, whatever it is, okay? You have to hook up the same, because you could put a maximum of four batteries in here, all right? But make sure you read your instructions. Otherwise, you're gonna blow the shit out of this like I did on my uh, uh, a Sonic uh, Wake Probo 36 inch, okay? These so. back here, when I have them pointed, you know, you go forward or back, forward or back those are for the throttle and those are for the steering i put them back because when i sit there and have them uh, the one for the throttle one for the steering forward turns right turns left the other one is for the remote because you have to set that back full thrust reverse neutral okay there's some other things on the on here also and everything the binding button uh the tr uh, the the the, uh, the throttle uh trim the steering trim and there is what they call the uh um how much you want to sit there and make sure that the uh, right here the uh rudder to turn when you turn this wheel how much how much do you want it to full you want to sit there and adjust it so maybe it doesn't sit there and turn as sharp and everything whatsoever so you're gonna play around with that. It takes four AA batteries inside, which you have to provide yourself. When everything is here, it tells you the trim button, this button, that button, everything whatsoever, the battery indicator, all that stuff, everything. But this is looking like a monster. Now I, of course, I, like I said, I had inside the box, you do get everything that you need, the remote, the boat, everything. And they give you this uh, little uh, stand that is when people are unboxing it's inside the uh, inside the boat itself okay and they come pre-greased but i don't trust that i want to sit there and do it myself so i checked all the nuts and bolts and everything whatsoever made sure every single thing was tightened up everything seemed to be good i heard a lot of complaints online saying oh this was a the, uh, this is loose and everything whatsoever you got to fix this and you got to change that and everything yeah you, you, you want to check it out the only thing that i found that was loose is these guys right here the battery cradle those were loose there's one two three four five six i just tighten them up a little bit the batteries are going to sit very nice now what i'm going to do is when i sit there and take this out tomorrow i'm going to put my, i'm going to position my batteries because you could take the batteries all the way down inside there and tighten it up and that'll give you uh as you know when this thing is rocking and going, less lift. Okay, more weight in the front, less lift. I'm just gonna position mine sort of in the center to give it a shot. It's gonna be my first time out with it. All right, so I, I'm just gonna position them in the center. If you position them all the way in the back, you're gonna get a maximum you know, lift and everything whatsoever. But I'm gonna do this because I seen this bad boy on some other videos, you know, like uh, Mr. Mad 24, 24, he uh, he takes this out. I know. I think he runs four batteries inside his. But uh, for me, at this time, I'm gonna just sit there and run the two. So this is absolutely a, 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 a wonderful. Look at look at look at this. Look at how nice this is, and it's a fiberglass hole. Okay, very very strong. Where the Sonic Wake is more plastic, this is a fiberglass hole very 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 nice okay like a regular boat you got to do maintenance if you don't take care of it it is not going to last follow the instructions it is so important once again back to the uh, battery as a reminder this adapter cable comes with it but this is not the adapter cable that you will use if you're running four batteries in here read your instructions you will need to sit there and follow that Tomorrow when I get it out, we're gonna sit there and check it out, make sure everything is going well. Fiberglass hole, like I said, it is gonna be awesome. So let's take this bad boy out tomorrow and for a first run and see how it all goes. Put the top on, you screw them down. They self tight, I mean, they, it seals it up. It's a sexy boat, guys. So uh, I wanted to share that with you and look forward to uh, taking it out on the pond or lake tomorrow, see how it runs. Oh, one other thing. You know, when you put this uh, antenna in, 
this thing is so flexible. This thing moves around a lot and everything whatsoever. It goes down into the shaft. I always stick a little bit of electrical tape around mine. Just some advice, and because this thing could pop out. I don't. I, I, I just put it on there just for uh, just for some safety and everything. That's entirely up to you. And that's about it. So, thanks for watching, everybody, and I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll let you know how everything else works out. By the way, the maintenance on this is the same with the other Pro Boat. Got to grease that shaft. Always sit there and spl uh, spray a little uh, anti-corrosion uh, on it and everything whatsoever uh, into the motors. Put a little three-in-one oil into the uh, the pistons on the, uh, the the motors themselves. Just keep it lubricated. Do it every couple of runs and spray the back anti-corrosion. I do that on all my boats. Check all the uh, nuts and everything whatsoever. They all seem to have been tight. These are just my advices.